You can if you want. Yeah, I don't mind. All right. Ready? So here we are. This we're in this area here. Okay. This um, whole thing is the larynx. Okay. This large area is the larynx, and then this is the trachea. So everything. Okay. Just up above here. Yeah. What what kind of sticks out, big and large, is the larynx. Okay. okay. And they remove part of it from this side. Um, this is the hyoid bone, which you don't need to know, but that comes around here. Uh, let's see. Now, you need some cartilage. This is thyroid cartilage. Okay, thyroid cartilage. Now, that comes together. Each side comes together. And in the middle, it's larger. It sticks out. This is what you actually refer to as the Adam's apple. However, don't write that on the practical. It will be laryngeal prominence. Laryngeal prominence. Just right in the front where they come together, right in the center. Okay. Now, underneath here is cryocoid cartilage. Cryocoid cartilage. Okay? And that will continue to the back. Let's look here. Um, you can see some of it under the muscle. Cryocoid cartilage, and it actually will continue to the back portion here. So it's thyroid cartilage, and then right underneath that is cryocoid. Uh, now, the, this is these blue lines are also cartilage that go down the trachea, but they're not in your lab books. So you don't have to know them. They're, they, I'm just going to tell you, they're called tracheal cartilage or C-ring cartilage. C-ring because, like C as in the letter C, because they're not complete. They're not a complete circle. It's open in the back. And the reason for that is because this is where you have the esophagus directly behind it. So when you swallow a bolus, a ball of food, it gives room for the esophagus to expand and push against here to get a little bit more room to allow your food to go down. All right, next. This is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland. This is the epiglottis, this flap. Okay, of cartilage. Now let's look inside. So again, this flap is the, th um, the epiglottis. Mm -hmm. Now let's go down to this area. The space, the divot, is called the glottis. Glottis is just an open space, and it's going to be referred to as this little divot here. Now. Above it and below it are vocal cords or vocal folds. The one that's above the space, there's no actual line or any marker here, but it's, it would be this area right here. This would be the vestibular or false vocal, cord, vocal cords. You can just say false if you like. Now, you see the white line on the bottom of that space? That is the true vocal cord. The true vocal cord is the white line. The red is actually skeletal muscle. Okay? And that's it for this model.